Welcome to Hell on Earth, Loftus Hall, where Satan himself called home for six weeks. The skeleton remains of a baby found behind the fireplace here. The, the shadow that they've seen in this hallway, seven foot dark, and it's not meant to be very friendly. I feel really bad walking out the front door. I don't like it. Oh, dogs fell over. He says, absolute torture. I'm not even messing. Guys, I know you're messing with the walkie-talkie, but seriously, is there somebody in the hallway? You over there? You fall? Would you tell me why it's called the devil's bedroom? I rule. Do you want us out of the house? Yes. You are an evil spirit. Prosper, yes. What will you do if we don't leave? Welcome to the Overnight Channel, dedicated to finding proof of the paranormal. Tonight's investigation takes place at Loftus Hall, Hell on Earth. What's up everyone and welcome back to the Overnight Channel. This is a very special video. We actually left the UK, so Dan is still in the UK and Matt was already scheduled to go back home, but we had an opportunity to come back to Ireland for Loftus Hall. Ghost Adventures did an episode here, I believe quite a while ago. The history here is tied into the Hellfire Club, but significantly worse. And that's saying a lot. If you know anything about what would happen, the sacrifices, the rituals at the Hellfire Club, yeah. There is a place here known as the Devil's Bedroom. There's also the Devil's Door, and there's also the Devil's Poker Room. And it's not for coincidence that it has that name. They truly and firmly believe that the devil visited here. Here. For a multiple week long stay. Yeah. And they didn't know it was the devil. Until he impregnated the daughter. And that did not end well either. Yeah. But what's even more remarkable and the reason why we made sure we came back here and had time for this is we are going to be the last people to ever film here, ever. It's already sold. They might be changing out the keys literally anytime during filming this video. They don't yeah. know when, but it's already sold and it's being converted into a luxury hotel. They're changing the name and they're abolishing everything and anything that has to do with the paranormal. I mean, it's it's going to be, that's going to be a haunted ass hotel. Yeah. That hotel is going to be haunted. But they'll never acknowledge it. They'll refuse to ever acknowledge it. That's crazy. So we'll be the last ones to ever be in here. What is inside this building, which I believe is somewhere near 100,000 square feet, three stories, 27 rooms, is absolutely remarkable. 27. And people would live here. Yeah. Like this was like their home. For nearly a thousand years, there have been different kinds of residents on this property, including Satan. Including Satan. Yeah. Yeah, he just came in for a casual six weeks, got caught in a storm, just knocked on the door and was like, hey. Knocked on the door, knocked up the daughter. <laughs> Dipped. That was really good. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. So if you saw the Hellfire Club video, we are joining up with Tina and Chris again of the mm -hmm. Paranormal Researchers of Ireland. They're yeah. the reason why we're here. They're actually the keepers of the key here. Isn't well, they that were. Insane. And Chris even wrote a book about this place. Yeah. So he knows everything there is to know. Yeah. And I'm excited to be here. Oh, me too, dog. Okay. And let's go talk to Satan. I don't want to talk to Satan. Let's go talk to Satan. Hi, Satan. Hey, Diablo. Hey, baby. I think it's 800 years old. What? No. 700. Oh, it's not that impressive. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 700. All right, let's go. You got it? Start, uh, no, no, start, start with your cheek first. Elton, I don't know if that yam's gonna fit through. Okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> good job, Elton. You did it. You did it. Now keep going. You can't. Is this, so is that how you open these? That's how it works, right? You can't push them open once the door touches the yam. In our previous episodes, we visited the Hellfire Club of Dublin, Ireland, and the Hellfire Caves in London, both known for its demonic paranormal activity due to the torture, torment, and years of satanic rituals and sacrifices that took place there. Yet tonight, we are visiting what may be the pinnacle of the most sheer evil the Hellfire Club could have ever summoned, a place isolated and monstrous in size, where anything a club member wished to bring to life or to death was possible. 
the place that led Satan himself to visit and stay for weeks on end. On the Hook Peninsula of Ireland, the original home was built in 1170 by a Norman knight and stayed in the family until the 17th century. Yet in 1350, the castle was expanded due to the Black Death and a need to create an isolated fortress. It then became a 22-bedroom, three-story mansion sitting on top of 63 acres and hosting a wide variety of guests throughout the centuries. Yet in the year 1666, Henry Loftus acquired the home and renamed it to the infamous title it now carries, Loftus Hall. Starting in 1872 and for the next seven years without pause, the Loftus family put all of their funds towards renovating the mansion to the highest extent in anticipation of a visit from the Queen Victoria. A visit that would bring pride, glory, and recognition to the Loftus family. A visit that unfortunately never happened. Seven years of work and money that eventually left them in extreme debt. The Loftus family owned the residence until the 1890s when it was sold to relieve the family of their financial dues. From 1917 until 1935, it served as a convent for the Benedictine order and eventually became the dormitory for the Sisters of Providence and the girls wishing to take their holy vows. These years involved changes to the mansion, including the addition of a chapel, a bountiful amount of crucifixes and Christian icons to make it suitable for nuns and holding mass. These same items that would mysteriously be destroyed in horrific and alarming ways throughout the years. In 1983, it became Loftus Hall Hotel until one owner passed away. Shortly after, the other mysteriously and suddenly left to never return. Loftus Hall sat vacant for nearly two decades, rotting away. No one was allowed inside. Today, it is solely used as a tourist attraction and for paranormal investigations. And in fact, tonight will be the last paranormal investigation to ever happen here, as it has been sold. The Loftus Hall, as we see it today, will be transformed into a luxury resort, where the new owners will never allow the stories of the past to be told again. So tonight, we will tell them one final time. The hauntings of Loftus Hall vary immensely and deeply, from victims of the Norman rule to the many that died here from the Black Death, soldiers from the Irish Confederate War, to the many times the castle was defended against, with one circumstance leading to 60 English soldiers being killed from behind, just on the back steps of the home. But of course, the story that led us here tonight is the fact that the devil himself not only walked through this door and sat at the poker table, but that he caught his seat and the roof above him on fire. A roof that has never been able to be fixed after centuries of trying. The details of the story will be told to us by Chris and Tina, fellow paranormal investigators and experts on the history of Loftus Hall. Tonight, we will be on the lookout for the daughter of the Loftus family, Anne, whose spirit is often seen and documented by visitors. Her fate was so dire that an exorcism was ordered upon the home and was found to be successful in all but one room room that could not succumb to the power of the Catholic priest. That same room was later found to have the remains of a small infant buried within the walls, suspected to be the child of Anne, the child whose father was suspected to be the hooved visitor, Lucifer. Two nuns have also mysteriously died on the grand staircase. Owners have mysteriously disappeared, daring not to speak ever of what they saw or experienced. Satanic rituals were reported here for nearly two decades, and every religious statue and icon has been disfigured without explanation. Crucifixes have been seen moving on their own, and apparitions have been photographed. Every subtle and extreme form of paranormal activity has been documented in Loftus Hall. But even beyond that, the sheer history and magnificence of this home was worth the last minute trip back to Ireland. Oh! What? Oh, this is so cool! Wow! Yeah, that's that's nice to see you. Nice to see you. You survived that? Yeah, <laughs> somehow. We didn't mean to ignore you, but also really cool. Kind of in shock. It, it has that effect on people. Yeah, because we haven't been to like a rustic, abandoned place mm -hmm. yet. It's either been never lived in, mm -hmm. or you know, like kind of that standpoint, yeah. Yeah. or fully lived in. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of places in Ireland that you would find that are like this, but the OPW 
own them, so they're sort of done up and they're commercialised. And this yeah. one has been left. Uh, really, it's it's derelict. Well, they got two Italian brothers over from Italy to put the floor down. And um, back in the day, everything had to be unique. When they had finished putting the floor down to make sure that this would never be copied, Did they, they no chopped their hands off. That they uh, these were really well known tilers. They were famous for their work, and they chopped the hands off that they could never recreate this floor. So this floor. It's the only one unique. They can like never work again. Never work again. In there, there's a dining room. In here is the card room. Use pick where you want to go. Where would you like to go first? Where do you want to go? I, I don't know. How about you close your eyes? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Watch your finger out. Watch your finger out. Okay, you ready? Yeah. Ow, ow. My man. Who do you think hit me in the eye? <laughs> there. Help him out. Yeah. <gasps> oh, we're filming. <laughs> but yeah, we should go to this room. I meant this room. That's where we're, I was... we're going back outside. <laughs> we're about to go on a date. We're going to the bedroom. <laughs> oh. Wow. Oh. 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 Wait. No. Mm -hmm. Yeah. No. Wait, who's saying yeah? Yeah. No. You know. No? Yeah. Do you know? No. No. Yeah. Do you know? No. 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 Yeah? Is this, is, I know a little bit about this place. Yeah. yeah. Is this where the devil? Boom. Yes. Here. Well done. Yeah. Why did we choose this room? Isn't that strange? Cool. Your heart led me to where the devil is. It all connects, you see? Um, we connect you got something to tell me, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if my memory serves me correctly. <laughs> <laughs> can I continue? It's like my old kind of team music. <laughs> what, what'd you say? I can. How far it's going? Corey! The Loftus is again very proud family. The story was that Stormy Night, the Slate Harbour is literally, remember we were down mm. It was probably five minutes away. That's it, yeah. The ship came in, docked, one person got off, seen the candlelights of Loftus Hall in the distance, dressed in all their clothes, and of course Loftus has been as proud as the world, they want to turn anyone away. So we can welcome anyone in, we, we are rich, we don't have to turn in. Came into the house, the daughter of the family, Anne, was very besotted with this gentleman. We were playing cards one night. And was sitting, they say, over here. And they're just dealing cards, as you would they were had a couple more guests with them. Dealing cards, next minute one fell on the floor, and Lady Anne at the time went to pick it up. And when she looked across the table, he had a cloven hoof for a foot. And apparently that was the the guise was up, so to speak, mm. burst into a ball of flames and they say he went out through the uh, ceiling. I was gonna say that looked like it burned. Yeah. Um so yeah, it's a Definitely an interesting building. I'm not going to say any more until we get to the next room. Yeah, because every <laughs> room it has, a has its own. Uh, yeah. To the story, but they do say that people that have had this house before have tried to fix the hole in the roof, um, and they can't fix it. So. I'm assuming the cards are here. For that reason. People are meant to play. Yes. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. We've had people leave this room, feel uncomfortable, do just have to get out. Um, obviously, I'm not going to say names for confidential reasons. Um, people have seen dark figures literally walk over to the table. The table was yeah, actually like being yeah, the table vibrated one night. Um, the thing is, again, when we're doing investigation, we kind of stand back, step away because we don't want people to think that we're the influence and mm -hmm. what's happening, or you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, some people just don't like this room, or literally the one next door. People either love it or hate it. So this entire place is it more of a demonic? Definitely. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah, look at the wallpaper. Dude, it's velvet. Yeah. What? Oh my god. That you was dear how, paper. That was, that was expensive. <laughs> you know how, like, what year the wallpaper is from? I think it's from when it was the hotel. The ho yeah. This was a hotel in the 90s. Mm -hmm. in, uh, mid 80s and uh, 90s. And before that, it was ran Wait. by the Sisters of Providence and um, it was 40 years. There was mass said here every day for 40 years. 
was wow. uh, and young girls and all came in to be trained as nuns or schooling or there was a lady in here one night and she said she was probably standing around here she said somebody really ran at her from this corner and just stopped right there and she just had to get out mm. the other interesting thing i'll say to you guys we done another lockdown with the public as well one night we split people into groups abc whatever and then on three separate occasions on the same night three different groups and individual came in here and when they came out they goes just something not right and goes what's the issue or what do you think is and it goes just like something's crawling along the ground yeah i've got that as well do you remember that <laughs> and i goes which will tell you how it links now in a couple of seconds i goes what do you mean crawling does it remind you of like a child or an infant or something like that and it goes definitely not because whatever it had was like a claw trying to reach up and don't touch people or grab people or something like that. And that was on three occasions on the same night of three oh, different right. groups. Yeah. So they didn't know each other, these people, so they couldn't have went and spoke to each other and said blah blah blah. Yeah. Literally, they were people who didn't speak to each other who had the same experience, which I find that very relevant. Yeah. Wow. They weren't in the same group, they weren't mixing together. We we separate A, B, C. Yeah, yeah. So they're yeah. in different parts at different times. <coughs> yes. And so, we actually very good point. Like we actually specifically tell people if you do have an experience, don't, share don't tell people because I, for obvious reasons. I say that to our guys all yeah. the time. Like if if we ever go to a different place, I purposely will go to one room mm. and not say anything to then see if he goes into the room and has the same thing. We do that him. all the time. But this room, I find, I don't know what it is. I can't explain that the atmosphere in this room is really heavy or flat or different or, you know, even taking breaths. Yeah. Like well, the air was really thicker. That's exactly yeah. the way I feel. And I'm even getting goosebumps now because you feel it too. It's not in my head. But every time I come in, I feel that. I don't feel comfortable. I mean, I wouldn't, if you went to I wouldn't stay in here with no light. <laughs> I'd be coming out after you. So we will go out here then and see what way you are with the main, the main, main that staircase. Are, that are Irish Where are the Irish restrooms? Where? On the third floor. <laughs> oh, the turd floor. Turd. <laughs> that, that was good. I literally can't tell where we are. Oh! I love it. Oh. Oh my god. Wow. Oh, this is this is Hill House. Oh my gosh. Holy. It's the same design, or I won't say it's the exact same, but the same design as what you'd see on and the uh, bottom of the sea in the Titanic. Mm. And in the Vatican in Rome, so to say that the Pope walks up the same style of staircase as this and wow. it goes up and splits and all that kind of stuff, yeah. So as you can see, very proud, very, I suppose, elaborate and when you walk in through the main door, you're greeted with the tile floor and then this, so it's kind of off factor throughout the whole house, you know. Yeah. What have you experienced paranormal-wise here? Um, was I, would you believe I was on a Friday the 13th, we were down there. Hmm. <laughs> Perfect day, right? And uh, it was completely, it was like yourself, it was private, there was, it wasn't really open to the public or anything at all like that. And we have walkie talkies and we're ear pieced up. So technically anything that comes through the walkie, I'll only hear through the earpiece. Long story short, we're just chatting like what we're doing now, and this was just weird. Um, attention came through the speaker on the walkie talkie, came through the speaker and not the earpiece. And I kind of gone, okay. Who was that? And I said it to the group of friends, I goes, you heard that right? He goes, yeah, yeah, we heard it. it was a spill. And I checked, turned on the torch, checked the wire, it was all connected and stuff. So was it the house saying, attention, stop ignoring me? Mm. Or, listen, I fully understand it could be a boat going by, and, mm. uh, it could be interference, but at that exact moment, who would be saying, it, stand to attention, or was it a taxi or a cab going by? And, do you know what? So, yeah, but for a taxi to go by, exactly, we're nowhere exactly. near a room. Exactly, exactly. So that's, I suppose, the most. For, for, that's probably the oh. come back. <laughs> I was like, here we go. <laughs> I was like, here we go. <laughs> um, but that, <laughs> catch a go. <laughs> I just told him to you about the story when attention came through on the walkie talkies. That was so weird. Yeah. Yeah, that was so um, weird. But as regards, uh, Tina had a very interesting experience uh, in the middle floor. This one, yeah. We decided to come down here one night and stay here a night. We decided to sleep up on the middle floor, but we arrived down and from the minute we got down here, we felt really uncomfortable, like jumpy at everything. We were just so jumpy, if something brushed off us, we were, I said, wait, I just really feel really, I'm just not happy here tonight. I think we have to go home. And he's like, 
we're not going to go home because you'd be kicking yourself if you go home. We went up to the middle floor, we had our EVPs, so we set the EVPs, we didn't have, we weren't running a camera, just the recorders, we put them in the middle of the floor, I'll show you the room when we go up, yeah. and we just went totally silent, I sat down with my back to a window, and there was a shutter on the window, and uh, as I was sitting with my back to the window, every second I thought something was going to happen, and behind me, just, but it was this bang on the shutter. The bang came through on the shutter. I felt it on my back. Now we're two floors up, so it's nobody outside. And you see, and there's gates coming into loft. There's, there's a huge driveway down. There's security everywhere. So there was nobody. And it was a bang on the shutter. I screamed and jumped forward. Wayne was like, what the F has just happened? And it was just total chaos. And it was the next day then, it was Billy who does the sound. He ran it on his computer. He put it onto the computer and looking for any anomalies at all. And he rang and he said, Tina, come down to the house. I need you to hear this. And it was literally when I, can you hear? I heard that as well. Doom, doom. I said, Tina, come down to the house. I need you to hear this. And it was literally when I, can you hear? I heard that as well. Doom, doom. Did, I did actually, did you hear yeah, it? I think I actually did hear it. Brilliant. I heard, yeah. that's I what heard I heard. some jingling, but I think that's your... I'm going to take these off. No, no, that's fine. They'll be jingling all night. <laughs> At first I thought it was like keys with yeah. the steps. So I really well, what Billy picked up on the EVPs was um, women and men screaming behind me. It was like disembodied voices. It was like another dimension. It was like not in the room with me. It wow. So we'll show you the middle floor. Sure. Well, that one down there is where the bang, the shutter behind me. Oh, right there. Over in here. Yeah. Now, this bath was put in for the film. Um, uh, the, what's it called? The lodgers. The lodgers. So, they, the, the film crew that came to film, they left the props, which was lovely. Okay. But I was just showing you, I was kneeling here against that, and it was literally oh, that's no. the bang. And I jumped forward like it was just awful. It was here. Nothing like. And I just to know. point out as well, Tina, the shutters are on the inside, not the, so in other words, the the if inside, it was, a, the way people that. people might say it could have been a could have been a bird or something, no. but the shutters are on the inside of the window. Oh yeah, I can see this glass pane right there. There's glass behind this. I suppose the common thing I've seen in this hallway was remember the the tall figure, but it's not uh, what we'd call it's not shadow. It's like static. So like you leave a TV on, all the channels are gone, it's just like static. Like poltergeist when it's the white noise kind of thing. And Stanton. Just like a static here. figure. What? Yeah, yeah. kind of static. Yeah. The figure was static. Static. When a group of my guys seen it, um, they weren't friends, they were totally random strangers that I brought up here. And I asked them all what way would they explain the figure that they seen? And they said the only way they can explain it is static. Mm. Like it, yeah. you know, which is really interesting. If you know, spirits can, you know, the energy and yeah. like really interesting. But one thing that people always say, even we've had people total non believers, is the, the shadow that they've seen in this hallway like seven foot, not yeah. even six foot, seven foot tall, mm. dark, just yeah. like dark, just yeah. terrible. Yeah, wow. So, and it's not meant to be very friendly on this floor. Whatever the history is on this floor, it's not meant to be very friendly on this floor. And this is the floor Kitty Devereaux that owned at the hotel. This is the floor that she had stayed on. Uh, she was run out of here. She left all of her belongings. So we're going to go in here now to the devil's bedroom, which is on the right hand side. So is this the room he was going to sleep in? Is that why they um, call it that? Oh my God. You just wanted to get your head down, there's beds there. <laughs> <laughs> honestly. Yeah, honestly. Look at that. There you go. No. Yeah. So we can get you in two or yeah. three hours. Yeah. We can, we can call you. Remember we're telling you the story about the statues in the house? Yeah. We were actually doing a lockdown four years ago. Yeah. But one of the members of the team at the time was experiencing something and apparently he was pushed or fell against the table and this was on it. And when it fell, that's what I ended up with. Literally. No coincidence. He was a, a demonologist. He was a demonologist, yeah. And he wow. felt he was attacked. Yeah, and you can see the head is knocked off. And Everything, like it just, just a totally bit, came apart. A little bit of trivia. Yeah. Wow. So we kept it. Yeah. 
Yeah, so that's just been sitting on the Man's Piece of Seven show, yeah. How long ago did that happen? It's about four, four years, years ago. ago. About four years ago. Yeah. I mean, Evan, could you imagine the picture we could take here on the camera you didn't bring? Uh, no, I can't imagine it because I forgot the camera in the hotel. <laughs> Even this one's velvet! They had money back in the oh day. Oh my gosh. Um, I suppose the most interesting thing about this room is the mirror. We done a screen session. I sat in the chair and was screen on Facebook Live. Mm. Of course, people were seeing like, faces in the mirror. And like I was asking people on the live to ask questions for me to ask. It's you more, you know, um, it finally gets a lot of interaction that way as well. Mm -hmm. But people were seeing like my face change and, and you were standing on my left. And they were seeing like another dark figure standing behind us and stuff really? stuff like that. Yeah. They were found in the house. He doesn't have a clue who these pictures are. Hmm. But yeah, like that, I'd keep them as well. You know. No way. So obviously, these were family members of maybe the Devereaux. I think we should uh, show them the tapestry room. Now. Yeah. I just want to see their reaction to that room. <laughs> This is, this is I'm saying nothing. Like, always, always have to get a reaction like little pieces because they're either adjusting to Evan's light or like, I know. <laughs> we have to yeah. wait. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. This is just, it's just cool. What? Don't look at Don't freak out. I just, okay. So, this room, when Chris told you the story about Lady Anne bending down, finding the card on the floor, and he had hooped feet, so the devil. Um, what he didn't tell you was. She had, he had stayed here for a few days or a few weeks at that stage. But he stayed here and Lady Anne had been having relations with him. And when he went up through the roof, she couldn't believe what was after happening. And she was really mourning for him. And she had found out she was pregnant. So when the family found out that she was pregnant and that it was from this dark stranger, so she was pregnant with the devil's child, they locked her into this room, the tapestry room. She was in this tapestry room for a couple of years and she lost her mind and she died looking out the window in a chair, uh, waiting for the dark stranger to come back to her. They say that the baby was born. The body of the baby was found here. When they renovated the house, when Chris had said the house was renovated in the 1800s, was it? Or the early 1900s? And there was a body, the skeletal remains of a baby found behind the fireplace here. What? And even in her grave that me and Chris went to, her grave is probably around 10 miles yeah. down the road. We went to see her grave and her grave, she did die in the fetal position. She, she was curled yes. up. She had to be buried in a specially made coffin. So her, her the, the church is here and her grave is like a mound. It's like nearly circular. It's not long and straight. So she was buried in the, the position that she died in, and usually. Seated position. Yeah, yeah. So. She was locked in here for 10 years. 10 oh. years. The story goes that Father Thomas Brothers was the priest that carried it out. They say that he rid the house, every room in the house of all the evil, all the entities, all this, but he couldn't rid this room. Whatever it was about this room, he couldn't get rid of it. That's what the legend or the lore that goes with the house. I swear I just saw like a black shadow at the top corner just go Phew. Really? Yeah, I swear. Has people reported that here? Yeah. In here, absolutely. Huge. Sometimes when it's black they, they see lights and other times they see dark shadows, but it's always up the top. It's never around here going down. It's always up the top where it's reported. That's what I just saw. Mm. It was at the top corner. Mm. Mm. Always up the top. So the exorcism took three days. Three days. Is that because he had got room by room? I'd say absolutely, and I think as well, it's just for the feet that it was. Um, so as you said, whatever it was about this room, um, to say it was either trapped, he trapped everything in here, or he couldn't get rid of it. Simple as. Wait. So you're also saying that she was having sex with the devil, right, for weeks at a time? which means the devil never took his shoes off? My view was the family was so well known, the family were so well off. It was a real, really bad for your daughter to get pregnant, you know, mm. unmarried, underage. I think a stranger did end up being shipwrecked. I think a stranger did end up to the door. And I think that it was much easier for the family because back in the day, um, Ireland, they were very religious and they were, you know, the devil was spoke about and I think it was easier for them to say their daughter got pregnant by the devil, taken advantage of, rather than say 
she got pregnant by a guy, you know, because it would have they would have been yeah, they would have been shunned. Yeah. That would have been horrible for the their their name would have been dragged down. The music that has been picked up before is everything is quiet and people have heard it's like nuns chanting or like a or like organ. The, Stanta yeah, like it's it's really weird music. It's like music has been played, so they don't play. They're not set up to anything, and people have been sitting, let's say, on the main staircase. They'd hear really faint music coming through, or they've heard nuns chanting. That's that's what it's been explained. It's like chanting. Yeah. So, which is really interesting. Wait a second. Is what? this velvet? <laughs> is it? <laughs> is it? Oh my god! It is. <laughs> You're getting searched? Yeah. You're getting searched when you're leaving here? <laughs> then you only start wearing you're gonna velvet. pat me down. You're like, Corey would have asked all the wallpaper. Is there anything negative happened in here? In every room, there has been something negative. Like it's, it's, it's the same in this room. People would have been asked to leave. They would have felt an un, like an unbelievable feeling of sick. It's like, um, it comes over them, the sickness feeling they need mm. to leave. Um, fear, like, so it's not shadows in here, it's more feelings, mm. you know. Um, paranoid, like somebody's watching them. Uh, the sick feeling would be one that would be felt a lot in this room. Are the rumors true that there were like demonic rituals and offerings done here? Yeah. In this chapel? Mm. And a lot of stuff that's been found would suggest that it has definitely been done here. You know, a lot of artifacts that has been found. It's 100% being done. Still got to see the third floor. Damn. Third floor. <laughs> so how much time are we spending each alone here? Uh, what? Hmm? Well, just I mean, in order to cover the whole house before sunrise, we got to be alone. We don't have to. Have you ever walked around alone here? Yeah. Yeah. This corridor. Probably twice, but that's only because, like, for a bet, that they made me. <laughs> no, I don't like this corridor, I'm not messing. This would be the worst in the house for me. I feel really bad walking down the corridor. I don't like it. I don't walk down here. Yeah. So, the room to the right is a lot of furniture. You probably like that room. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's so many. This place is huge. Yeah. Everywhere you go, you go, oh my god, I'm in the chair again. I know. That's like the phone from the hotel, the lamp from the hotel, I love that. And that's just been left there, and it's still there. Like, has it's so it, cool. Has it ever rang? Has it ever rang? Hello? <laughs> Did you imagine? Yeah. We're in here tonight, the phone starts ringing. You call up room service, and you're like, hi, uh, <laughs> missing a <the> mattress. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no towel. <laughs> Do you want to tell them, Tano, how we do in there? Well, they sit here in front of the chair because I like to see if people have the same experience. So they sit in front of the chair and they just look into the mirror. They scrub, yeah. Yeah, yeah. but what a lot of people have said, um, and it's not necessarily that they see anything in the mirror, every single person that sits in here has heard something from this corner. They've heard something from this corner or they have heard footsteps coming from this corner or they have felt something on the right hand on the right shoulder so whatever it is about this corner of the room a lot of people it's just like documenting things that happen to different people but they're very similar things like it's i find that really interesting always oh, it just open everything in there so if I'm correct in saying we're above the devil's bedroom and we're above the tapestry room. Mm. Simultaneously. Yeah, this, this room is tapestry room, devil's bedroom, and this room. So we're directly above one of the rooms that could not be exercised. Yeah. Mm. In the floor of the house, it's supposed to be the highest, worst energy. Mm. And it's Corey's lucky number. Mm. And this room, this wardrobe, the door, I had people up here, and this door opened by itself and I was so happy that I wasn't up here on my own when it happened just that other people had eyes that they could verify that did happen and when this place was first taken over by Aiden there was a group of paranormal researchers in they have a YouTube clip of it up not of the wardrobe moving but of what happened that night they said that this wardrobe literally shook this what? side came up, that side came up, this side came up. I've no reason to disbelieve them, you know. Um, but that wardrobe 
loads of people have seen the door move and they've heard bangs, they've like, I don't know why, but this word up. Wow. So just letting you know that. Right, well, will I show you the last room? Yeah. And then we'll go home and we'll leave you to it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so down right now. Well, you're joining us tonight, right, for the investigation? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah, off he's go, off he's go. <laughs> so this is the last room, and this room would be, um, in to me, it's, it's on this floor, it's the hallway. To me, it's the hallway that really, or the room 13, and not because it's room 13. It definitely isn't to do with room 13. I think it's more to do with the furniture that's in the room. Mm. I think there's an energy to the furniture, that's being honest. Uh, but the hallway, I just feel the hallway is, if there is something in the hallway, it's not friendly. It's, it's given, like it doesn't welcome me, that hallway does not. I mean, <laughs> I've come up here to get equipment before. <laughs> I'd you ever get that feeling? I'd be getting equipment and I'd start walking down the hallway and you feel like there's something behind you. Yeah, and you're you like walking running. quicker. And then yeah. you're, and you're like running like yeah. an Egypt, running down the stairs. Yeah. Like you just have to get down the hallway. Yeah. It's just horrible. That, so that I don't think it's very house. friendly, whatever's up here. Just the energy isn't friendly. But I do think that room and I think it's more the furniture. Okay. So for the first time ever, <laughs> last night at the Ancient Rim Inn, at 6.45 in the morning when we left, we also left all of our tools, everything. We packed it all up and just left it in the downstairs area. So then I reached out to you and be like, can you bring yours? And you brought everything and then some. <laughs> By the way, it packed way better than yeah, our stuff is. Ours is in like a lunch box. <laughs> With like foam just thrown in between everything. And we wonder why everything gets broken. Doesn't this feel like dealer no deals? Oh my god! Oh my god! Wait, what a great way to pick your tools tonight. <laughs> Number thirteen. <laughs> pick one. Pick a box. Pick a box. Pick a box. Tonight you'll be investigating with <gasps> everything. <laughs> Cool. <laughs> you literally got everything. At first I thought it was just batteries. <laughs> it was a double A battery. Corey, tonight you have won the Obulus, also an Eddie meter, a REM pod, and what's that I see? Spear box. <laughs> I didn't know what it was. Oh my God, you got everything. What the hell? Come on. Come on, I'm not done. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. Come on, rush me, baby. <laughs> well done. Give the batteries. Uh -huh. And a torch that doesn't work. <laughs> I just no. cleaned the case as well. Oh, fuck. Oh. Thank you. Right. Well, we're going to lose it that way. <laughs> so this one goes off if there's a noise or if a shadow moves in front. So you're standing there, there's nobody around, and then the robot goes near, and then it'll make noise. No. It's so cool. That's like our music box. Yeah, exactly. But just a traditional toy. But it just has a creepy voice, so it's really cool. <laughs> there. There. So. Oh my God, so it'll literally turn towards the direction. Yeah, so it's so like, cool. And sometimes they take off, like the people go. It shows you where the noise is coming from. <laughs> is it on the right Dude, side? Dude, if that thing starts, oh my god. Should we go from here to the poker, almost in the order in which we saw the room, from here to the poker room, yeah. tapestry room to the third floor? Deadly. Yeah, yeah. That would kind of and cover. Middle floor, don't forget that. What's in the middle floor again? Here. Uh, Devil's Bedroom. Oh, right, right, yeah. right. Yes. Okay. Honestly, I feel like the SLS here yeah. Yeah. would be really cool to use. Yeah. There, Chris, you said the SLS. SLS. I'm going to put the dog in here. Would that have been right here? Maybe. Yeah. That might have actually been taken right here. I really want to walk around holding this. Oh, that would be sick. <laughs> Are we allowed to like light the candles in here? Yeah. Do you have a lighter? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> damn, that looks so cool with we'll the candles. Yeah. I wonder if they have one on the <laughs> What? Why'd you just laugh? 
Huh? I heard it. No, why'd heaven just laugh? Oh, wait. The dogs fell over. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> you got that on camera. Wait, what made you laugh? I looked and the doll scared the sh out of me. No, but the doll just fell. Uh, yeah, I know. Did you catch it on camera? Yeah, he had to have. He was pointing right at it. I might have gotten it. I was wondering what the hell was making you laugh. It's, it's eyes That's were lit up. That's why I put the doll there. The doll was made for that room. Oh, look, it's going off. Oh. So that's what I was pointing is that her eyes were lighting up. Oh. What's that? What room is this? The, this is the card game room? No, that case is just annoyed. Where did the whistle come from? Actually, uh... Was it the iPod? Oh, this is the tapestry room. That's yeah. the tapestry room. Yeah. It fell over in the tapestry. Disturb. 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 Is that the... The, the, the easy meter. meter. Mm -hmm. Do you think there would be a lighter in the... Uh, where we, like, where all the kitchen stuff is? I would not have a light. Might be worth it. I feel like it'd be worth looking. You don't want to go in there, Corey? No, her eyes are just lit up again. That's so cool. Should we ask her to do it again? Absolutely. If there's someone or something in that room, and you just knocked over the doll, can you do it again? Away. Good. I'm literally just, I'm just waiting for it to do it again. Well, remember, if you wait for it, it's not going to happen. It was just unexpected. I have a device in my hand that will allow you to communicate with me. You can put words into this and I'll be able to talk with you. That's a creepy room, dude. That's a that's a freaky room. Like pitch black, just looking in there. Yeah. That's like a terrifying feeling. Absolutely. Is the spirit of Anton Michelle here with us tonight? Can you knock over that doll? So quiet, isn't it? Dude, it's like too quiet. Yeah, it's really quiet. What if we put that robot in front of the door? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Actually, put the in room. Oh, that's a good idea. Oh, you put it in Lighter? No. no. I mean, yes, but they're dead. No, it's a lighter, so they're not working. Don't work. We were just trying to. Hey, the robots don't want to stand anymore. The robot won't work now. Huh? Oh, got it. We decided to... Got it? <laughs> put the robot in there. Dude, the ovulus is completely done. Yeah? It won't even turn on. Dude, it was full green. I always thought maybe mine was just broken. But that wasn't even five minutes of it being yeah. on. Yeah. I'll run up and charge this. I just want to show you something. If there's anything in that room, make that... Make that little tiny little device on the ground go over to you. If you're in that room, make that device go to you now if you can. Hello? My name is Corey. Hello? My name is Elton. If 
there is anything in this building, and if you would like to communicate with us tonight, could you touch the device that we put at the top of the stairs? Just for argument's sake, say the battery's gone in that, and it went in the obelisk, and it's went in Wayne's camera. And then this has gone off as well. Whoa. Dude, that was a huge spike. It's definitely still on Tina, yeah? Elton, can you bring the uh, REM pod? Yeah. Yes, that's the... Yeah, let's go to the poker room. Let's do it. Try and lighten things up a little bit. 
So, so far, doll fell over by itself. It the robot. knocked over the robot, killed the ovulus, <laughs> killed the speaker, but then now the speaker turned back on. And the battery light earlier. Killed his battery light. That's the first room. Just playing around so far. Let's go to the poker room. Play some cards. <laughs> <laughs> Virtue is me back! No. Uh, <laughs> Sam, do you have any night? Ooh, flashlight just died. Yeah, my phone died too, by the way. Did that? Mm-hmm. It was on full charge, so I walked in here. What, what did you guys say? What did you ask for? Any any nine? Nine. Nine. Oh. So is that a yes or a no? Bro, it just got freezing again. Or, or uh, Evan. Ooh. Yeah. Done, done. That's how many pieces of equipment tonight is that? Completely. Look, no matter, no matter how I twist it. That is six pieces of equipment have that. Completely done. That's weird. Right. Oh. Isn't that strange that the gas and he immediately turns, turns the light off? Yeah. Really? I didn't notice it went to it. Oh, is that what happened? Yeah. I oh, thought it was a no. Nothing went off at all. I remember that yeah. last one, yes. She said if you have a nine, immediately flashlight dies and you didn't have a nine. Oh, wow. Yeah. I was too busy listening. That was really cool. <laughs> Sick? A little bit. It's very calm. Like I'm freezing right now, like something keeps touching my ears and I just have like anxiety. Well, get up. Get up and do. Yeah. Do you want to step away? Yeah. Can you go outside? No. Should we just all go somewhere and then Tina goes off, goes the 10 minutes and meets us back? Or Yeah, or we could walk her up to the stairs. Sure. And then we should all maybe go in like the double bedroom. Sure. Right? Somewhere different. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, I grab a walkie talk. Yeah, we can grab a walkie Yeah, I'm not even messing like sure. <laughs> We still need to get tired. Yep. Yeah. Does it ever play with like people's emotions in here? Y yeah, uh, in the whole house. But you know about emotions. Emotions as in high anxiety or sadness or very emotional. Sad, there's a, uh, I think that's what you're asking, isn't it? I think it? there was someone that I felt like wanted to cry one day. Mm. I have a feeling you're picking up on something, are you? I'm just angry right now. Oh. Yeah? I don't know why. Can you ask me, like, what do you say? Oh, yeah. Well, you know, like, what are you staring off at? Yeah, you just like, you were like staring, like pissed at the corner. That's where I was like, what's wrong? I feel fine now that like I'm acknowledging that like I was feeling mad. Like, I guess I wasn't realizing it, you know, sitting there. But, like, seriously, like, why was it like everybody was laughing that whole game and I literally just sat there in silence the whole time? Like you were directly underneath the the markings, the roof where the burns are, and dude, I was freezing that entire time. I mean, but it would come in like like Evan felt it once too. It was like it would like every five minutes or so, it just from head to toe, it would just get so cold. Hopefully, it'll make you feel better. Probably twenty minutes from now, we'll have some amazing footage of Tina crying that you can watch. Okay, that might be fun. That'll be good, you know. Yeah, just watch the misery of the person that invited us here. I have to keep my finger on everything. I have to keep a finger here. I have to keep a finger there. <laughs> I'm just so not brave on the dirt floor. Right. I just get this over with. Yeah, we'll follow you up. Very brave. Yeah. <laughs> Would you, you know, Corey, yeah, you'd do it, right? Right? Yeah. No. You can, you can lie. Good. You can lie right now, Corey. Huh? You can lie. Yes. You'd do it, right? I would. Well, I would take turns on the third floor. No. It's okay. you want to. It's okay. Sure. Yeah. Where do you just want me to go? Oh, Jesus. No. Are you just going to stay there? You okay? You fall? I'm okay.
Okay. Okay, we'll see you in two hours. <laughs> Ten minutes. <laughs> oh my god. Can you still hear me? Either she died, oh or the Amazon walkies don't work that way. Well. <laughs> Did you die? Over. I'm here, can you hear me? They may not work that well. <laughs> okay, there was definitely a light over there. Do we just keep going or do we tell her that the walkies don't work? <laughs> Guys, I know you're messing with the walkie-talkie, but seriously, is there somebody in the hallway? Be here for a few minutes. Okay. So should we turn these off? <laughs> she genuinely does. She genuinely hanging stuff. Chris? There's a lot of like patterns on the walls that yeah, when you look at them in a certain way, they look like something else. <laughs> this is absolute torture. I'm not even messing. Like, I'm not even messing. Oh my god, the bastards closed the door. I mean, it looks like a big ass flea face or something. It's metal. Here, we're going to right right. <coughs> Like the bottom, like the oh smile, yeah, the nose and the eyes, yeah, almost like a, like a, like a horns. I suppose nine years of going up and down to here. This is my first time doing this properly, like absolutely this end. Can you hear me? How long has she been up there by herself? Like oh, 10 minutes. Minute. Okay, maybe we get her. Yeah. Come on, who's up here with me? Only two hours and 50 minutes more to go. Okay, that is my torture. Never again, like, never again. Not even funny. Oh, they're all closed. Jesus. Because the light was off, I could see the light under the door. The light was off. He's got me. Yeah. He's totally got me. Gotcha. I can't believe it. I'm not using it. I can't believe you let them, Chris. <laughs> but there was no coverage at all on the walkie, and I said, "Okay, lads, I know you are messing with me. Who the f is in the hall? Like this? Yeah, the yeah. hall. We, no, I, we were. We didn't hear any of that first part. And then there was nothing at all. Nothing. Yeah, the walkie didn't work when we went down. Yeah. Two we were down. Oh, Jesus. Uh, two. We're down on one of the f lands down there. Yeah. We weren't up here until we yeah, told no, you. Yeah, no, I definitely there. heard something in the hallway, and that's what I was saying to you. Listen, you know, I know you're messing. Just answer the one. No, we definitely heard it, and it's the guys will have it on camera. We didn't hear any of that. No. What did it sound like? I thought somebody was walking in the hallway, so that's why I was saying to you. And then I had said it as well. There's a light, so there was a light down there. That's why I said there was a light. Messing. There was a light down there. So I was holding the camera and I'm going, right, so there's, because I wanted to mark it, I was like, there's definitely a light. Listen, lads, because they're messing, because I thought if they're messing with a light or if they're messing walking, because I heard walking and I seen a light. Definitely because that not. door was closed. I didn't even know if the door was closed. I was so how was the there door closed. So I was like, the bastards shut the door. I how was there a the light? Door shut. Yeah, no, that was Was fine. it like a flashlight? 
It was a light, yeah, but it came out for room down there. So oh, that's nowhere near us. We were literally, yeah. we never left the stairwell. We mm-hmm. definitely weren't up here. Mm-hmm. Until we actually told you we were up here. Mm-hmm. No, definitely. Yeah, that was terrible. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a look at Which room, yeah. Yeah, I wanna, I wanna know what she's talking about. So... So in there. So I was standing over here, and when I said to you, I, and then I said, "Listen, lads, I know you're messing. Just tell me where you are, because yeah. I heard something in the hall." And then I said, "Okay, there's a light as well, lads. Where are you?" Yeah. Should we get all the tools and then go to uh, his bedroom? We should grab tools and then maybe like split up, mm-hmm. cover more ground, because we actually are gonna run out of time soon. Yeah, you'd, you'd actually get more. All right, so we're gonna. Split up, so it seems, to cover more grounds. Yeah. We're going up to the devil's bedroom. You guys are going to the third floor. Yeah. We each have our different tools. And uh, see how the night goes. Yeah. Let's do it. Okay. That so means we're up the, up the stairs, right? Yeah. Okay. You got everything in your car, yeah? I think so. Do you think we should bring anything else? Um, I'm gonna grab the. Yeah. Yeah. Is this the staircase where the people died? Yeah, so this is all exactly, and that, that's the cross just there on the stand up with this one in the one, yeah. You think we should do anything right here? Yeah, more than welcome, absolutely. Maybe? Why not? Actually, I'll set this off. You ask the questions. Which means you're wearing that. I'm wearing them. Okay. Perfect. Right? And then I will tell you anything that comes true. Yes, yeah, anything that's clear. Mm-hmm. So if you hear it, just pop it out. So I was told that many people have died on this staircase. Are any of the souls that died here with us today. If you are, can you please interact with one of our devices? No, these are on now so I can't hear a word. Okay. Accident? Or is there an entity here that pushed these people down the stairs? Energy. No way. <laughs> yeah. No way. Is it an evil energy? Did an evil energy kill these innocent people? If there's anyone here, we can communicate through our friend Tina by pushing through any words or sentences you'd like us to hear. Sounds like a hey. It seems as though you've already figured out how to use the communication device. Woman. All right. Now are you mad? That a woman's sitting at your bed? Or are you happy that a woman's sitting at your bed? Are they above us? No. They'd be kind of on the same boat. They're at the, like literally over that side of the building. On the other side of the building? Yeah. It sounded like it was above us. Yeah. Like to me, what I thought, like do you know when we go up here, turn it and go up the next one? Yeah. That's right, I thought it was just at the end of that. Like what, what it sounded yeah. like. Yeah, yeah. 
If that is you up there, or if that is anything up there, can you walk down towards us? Make one of the devices go off actually on the stairs? It's me. Now who is me? Who are you? Believe me. Nothing yet. Well, let's head up to room 13. Yeah, absolutely. Let's see what we get up there. Let's do it. trying to give us a tip? What are you trying to tell us? Or could it be like, uh, like tip over? Like tip up. Oh. Is that what I mean? Like they tipped over on the stairs. Hmm. Could you give us a name? girl here who was allegedly impregnated up here by a man. Are you trying to tell us that you didn't know who the man was until it was too late? This is called the devil's bedroom. You... Could you tell me why it's called the Devil's Bedroom? I rule. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good idea. Faster. Faster? Faster. <laughs> Turn it full into the cupboard. Can I light up the arms? If that's really you, light up the arms, mate. Now, what do you rule over? Are you the ruler of the underworld? He take. You rule and you take. Leave. You rule, you take, and you leave. Home. Took this home. Us that, or are you reminding yourself? No. I'm gonna ask you some questions. To answer yes, cross the rods. To answer no, spin the rods outwards. Are there any spirits or souls or anything in here with us? Slow 
Well, if you do rule, we would need to know your name. You won. You won. Who do we serve in this room? What is your name? We're there. We're there. Earlier when we were in the tapestry room, I saw a shadow in the top corner. Was that you? Cross for yes. If you are an evil spirit, cross for yes. If you are a good spirit, spin outwards. Dude, what's like really like shocking me right now is just like. Normally when I do thousand rocks, they go really fast, right, you know? Right. And like, this is just moving so slow, yeah, but it I, is, it's still answering. Yeah. And it's just one of them kind of... I know. Do it, you know what I mean? You see, that's, that's yeah, why yeah. I was like trying to mess with this a second ago. I kind yeah. of figured it out. We're there where? We're, we're there. Okay. Who is we and where is there? Here. There is here. So you're here. I did. You're saying you're here in the house. Were you with us when we were playing poker? Playing Leave. cards? Leave. Why do you want us to leave? You already made us leave the card room. If there is an energy in this room, can you please touch the rim pod and make it go off? You see that? Yeah. That was a big spike. Yeah. And that's the, the blue and the orange are at the same time. The blue did also? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Can you do that again once more while Corey's looking over there? Can you set off the blue lights once more, please, if you can? Go on. It's an interesting thing about that. Is it not when it goes quiet, that voice goes quiet, the next one just starts spiking and tapping and all. Mm -hmm. So in other words, if it was like something that was constantly influencing it, it'd be just always going up, you know what I mean? Can you make these rim pods point to the direction of where you are? Do you want us out of the house? What will you do if we don't leave? Go. The beginning. You guys hear that? There's two footsteps out there. If that was you out in the hallway, Walk into the room so we all can hear you. And this hasn't gone off. It hasn't seen so. Isn't that strange? It hasn't gone off, but when I asked what, you know, what was on the stairs and made those people energy, 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 yeah. We're not going to leave that easily. 
So what reason will you give us to make us go? Do you only wish to make us uncomfortable? Go. Hurry. I did. Stop. What do you want to stop? Do you want to stop communicating? Is that why you want us to go? Is the noise irritating you? Can you hear the static, the noise? And that's what's bothering you. Dude, I swear to God, I just saw someone standing right next to you. Really? I'm not even playing. I'm not even playing. I might be really tired. Like my eyes might actually just be playing tricks on me. It was like coming forward. Yeah. I've actually no you'd have to see it. Yeah, right. Yeah. A few people have actually said that before to see so stand or stand around me to say so are you seeing standing around you? <laughs> yeah. Dude, that was weird. It was all white. Yeah? Yeah, it was all white. I've never felt like this during an investigation. Really? Yeah, like I'm just so drained and I'm just so out of it. And I'm just mood, mood changes and anxiety and just... And no it's, it's, it's like it's an even an experience, which is not. Yeah, no, it really is. Can you give us one reason to leave? Or your name? Broken. You can tell her to take the headphones off. Good? Yeah. That it? Yeah. Anything makes sense? I couldn't hear a word you were saying. Yeah, I'm being really quiet. Um, yeah, a couple things lined up. It was basically, I was saying, like, do you want us here? Then you would say, like, go and leave. Oh, love it. And then I was trying to get a reason why we should go. Didn't get one. Yeah. Mm. Maybe. Not sure. It was very close. We were saying a lot of the same things. Mm. I kept hearing the same leave and go. Mm. Almost like something was on repeat. No, that's really... Yeah, I hadn't done it this way before. Oh, really? Yeah, no, I'm interested in that. That's new. I 100% saw something next to you. I'm just very interested now to see if that whole problem. Dude, if that GoPro got like an orb or something you know I mean? just yeah. right then, then that's literally great proof, you know what Absolutely. I mean? But it's, I, I literally feel like this house tonight is just draining us and everything. Like that's all it wants. It just wants our energy. Yeah. It's so strange because like not even the rim pods were off. Yeah, exactly. That's, I'll do yeah. that. We've done it, uh, normally we have actually noise canceling headphones where you can't, it doesn't matter how close you are, you can't hear anyone. Yeah. But we've had some times where it's been like remarkably like responsive. Really good. And then we've had other times where like nothing lines up at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we prefer it that way because when you're doing the big group session, oh. so many people hear so many different things. Oh. It's easier, I think, when just one person is just listening. Oh, yeah. No, sure. It's, it's a, yeah, you'll hear what you want to hear. Mm -hmm. So it's just one person. Yeah, that's brilliant. Yeah, just one mm -hmm. person and then you dual record it. So that mm -hmm. way you can like make sure that whatever you're saying is actually the same thing. Mm -hmm. so. uh, I liked that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're like just sitting in the darkness, just yeah. doing that. Did the K2 ever go off? No, K2 did not go off. It never went off. That's wild. Mm. Yeah, no, nothing. Uh, I even did it with Tina up there. She had the headphones on. And I was asking questions so she couldn't hear anything. Oh, um, and she was going to say what she heard. And a couple things lined up. It was more so along the lines. We were in the devil's bedroom, and the only thing that was lining up was I would ask, like, do you want us here? And she would say, leave, leave, leave. But no she like, way. was only hearing leave, like, that's it. Like, and they were like a good amount of time apart. 
Are you serious? Yeah, and it was a lot of like, go, leave, right. like, dude. And I rule was a lot. I rule? I rule, and I was like, what do you rule? Like, do you rule this house and it's at home? And I said, you know, it was a lot of, like, this is my home that I rule and you need to leave was kind of the message I was getting. Right. But it was just the same words that she kept hearing over and over again, which is not how the spirit box should ever work. Dude, that's kind of right about our theory, though. It's literally just draining our energy and saying, get out. Yeah. It doesn't want to mess with our tools. It just wants to take our energy and wants us to do it. Yeah, it's, pretty, it's actually pretty close to what was happening. Yeah. It was just a lot of the same, no matter what I would ask. It was just like, no, leave. Like, that's it. Do that. Um, any names or anything? I'm sure no, I was asking. She never once said a name, nothing of the sort. Well, thank you both so much for having us here. I mean, we met you at the Hellfire Club like 12 days ago or something like that. <laughs> yeah. And then you recommended coming back here, so we rerouted our trip to fly here. Yeah. Still yeah. can't believe you actually made them. Yeah, I can't it's, either. It's crazy. We haven't slept well in probably two weeks. <laughs> <laughs> Since we started the trip, I don't think we slept well. Yeah, no, it's, been actually, on. it's been brilliant. Actually, really good having you here. Yeah. Really and we've had a great time. It's our pleasure. Yeah, yeah. No, from the Health Park Club and tonight, these are amazing. No, yeah. Thanks. Tonight yeah. was definitely a very interesting investigation. Yeah. I don't think we've ever experienced this. Yeah, I've never seen you get angry during an investigation before. Yeah, that was weird. I've seen you get sad quite often. Yeah. But not angry. And weren't you telling us something about someone else had been had an anger issue. Yeah, um, and it was unfortunate. Like I just popped into my head. So when Aiden first took over at Loftus Hall, he had the cameras set up and he was doing a day tour, but in all the rooms it was black dark. So he had a night vision camera on. And what happened was one guy, you could see in the camera, he was getting anxious. His anxiety was getting higher. And he literally ran towards a woman that was in the group. There was probably 10 of them. He ran towards a woman and he tackled her to the ground and then you see other people running in and pulling him off and what they said was um, he felt anger. He said it just came right from the pit of his stomach up and it was anxiety turned into anger. What? And that is exactly what you said today. You yeah. felt, first you felt anxious uh -huh. and then the anxious turned into anger and you didn't actually know what was going on with you. You just went really quiet. It was really weird. Yeah. You know, I, get, I, get, I get quiet when I'm angry. But that was during a tour? Mm, that was yeah. a tour with other people. It was in mine. Was it in the tapestry room? Mm. One of the rooms downstairs. So it is on YouTube, so I was trying to find it. I, we'll find I keep it. looking. Yeah, okay. you can find it. We'll try I want to find, find that. Mm. Wow. Mm. Was it worth the trip? Yeah. yeah it was worth the trip <laughs> just to see this place. Brilliant. No, no, it's even 100%. Percent. I think it was worth it just to see the staircase. Like it's and I think you are the last guys filming. Yeah. I love to saw. As far as I'm aware, um, you will be the last people filming because Love to Saw now is sold. Yeah. Wow. wow. And That's the, it. The keys are being exchanged like soon, right? It's it could yeah. be tomorrow, it could be the next day. Oh, it's wow. literally you have got in literally by a thread. Which is brilliant. I'm delighted to see it. And they're gonna fully renovate this place, right? Fully renovate. Yeah. Um, I think it's it's still on the QT exactly what way, but I do know that the paranormal is is ended enough to solve. There is no more paranormal. Wow. Will it ever end though? <laughs> Never. <laughs> paranormal like investigation. Yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You so I'm so happy you got in because you are so genuine. What you do, like, you are so genuine. What you do, like, thank I'm really, you. really impressed. Yeah. Oh, thank That's you for the opportunity. Mm. No, I'm more. I just have to say it's, it was fun. Mm. Now we got to read your book. Yeah. <laughs> now that we've been here, yeah, we should have been the other way around, maybe. But you might go. We'll read the book and watch the movie. Yeah, after yeah. After we'd already been here, yeah, 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 for sure. But uh, no, it was, uh, to be honest, I even said it to Tina. Remember after the Hell for Laws, that was actually really good. Really fun. enjoyable. So it was a pleasure. Hell for Laws was amazing. Yeah, like, yeah. Was I didn't amazing. know what to expect, and yeah. yeah. Yeah, no, I did fantastic. A couple of nice pictures. Yeah, that's great. Hope well, to see you again. Yeah, we'll be oh, back yeah. soon and uh, we'll have a less packed schedule to have more energy for every place we go to. There actually is 
Yeah, there actually is a hell of a lot more to show them. Okay. If you want well, to come back over. We'll come back over. Do you think definitely like to be back? back. Mm -hmm. Yeah, definitely. And well, uh, I suppose give me on page a plug as well, will you? Yes. If it's into horror, Chris Rush Horror Writer, check it out on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Okay. Bit of a horror nerd, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you all for, for watching. This is the last video from the, I guess, UK Ireland series. Yeah. Um, obviously, we packed in a lot of places on this trip because it took so long to get out here with all the COVID restrictions. So when we finally made it out here, I wanted to make sure we did as many thoughts as we could in case we couldn't come back uh, with the COVID restrictions. So, you know, it's been an interesting trip. It's been a crazy trip. Yeah, so much activity going. It's weird because I feel like for viewers, a lot of the time, even when like devices don't go off, I feel like that's the easiest form of activity for them to understand watching the video, right? Because they can physically see the same thing we do. Mm -hmm. And then there's nights like tonight, and there's nights like Ancient Ram In, where there's things that you're emotionally feeling mm -hmm. or you're visually see seeing, yeah. like cameras are. And it's very strange yeah. because like there is a lot more. Mm -hmm to what you feel when you go into these places that are hard yeah. to translate. So, you know, there's a lot. Just for, I guess, all of you that are watching and you're like, oh, nothing happened. It's like, a lot. There's stuff, there's stuff happening. Yeah, a lot. They, Corey literally cried three nights ago. I did cry yeah. three nights ago. But if you didn't cry, they wouldn't have been able to physically see that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 That was basically the REM pod of your eyeball. Yeah. <laughs> Each tear, yeah. an emotional REM pod going on. <laughs> <laughs> you were crying in Morse code. Yeah, I was. <laughs> so if you guys can actually put that together, <laughs> let me know what I said. K2 Corey? K2 Corey? <laughs> That's great. I'm copywriting that. Yeah, you gotta get the paperwork. Yeah.